Oh, look at the Brussels sprouts looking on fire in that focus, though. Pre-workout meal. Oh, it's going to be good. Get my greens in and my vegetables and some more green. Who knows what color my poop's going to be tomorrow. I do. What is up guys, Paul Hauser Lifestyle Fitness here in the gym with you guys this time for a very brief overview of day 23, uh, the finisher of the first cycle. Uh, if you guys follow me, you guys will realize that actually we are at the end of my micro cycle, but due to switching things around, we are on day 23. This is 23's workout. It is a pull workout, back and bars, basupials, because we're trying to get dinosaurs back from extinction. But I always like to start my workouts off, as you guys know, with some shoulder mobility. It's just because I've got shitty t shoulders, the worst shoulders, terrible shoulders. So I usually go through these movements right here, the three typical movements. It makes everything easy. It makes me feel loose. makes me feel good. And then we went right into the workout. Um, this called for four sets of 12 on everything. So we start off with some pull-ups. Decided not to go too wide, I would say about medium grip or so, making sure to put my thumb over top as well. And as you guys can see right here on this final set, uh, struggled very hard. Uh, tried getting a squeeze at the top, really extending them lats, and then it just pushing it as far as I could. Uh, still getting above the bar, kind of really pushing it. And then I'd like to show right here what I did every single time. I really pulled my lats back and boom. It obviously gets some more blood flow in there. It just feels extremely well. It feels really good. It's definitely a good uh, starter for a back workout, in my opinion. And then we went right over here to some lat pull-on variations. Um, I started off right here. That was my first set. It was a little heavy, and then I kind of adjusted the weight. If you guys also notice my thumbs here, they are not gripping the bar completely. Um, this is a much narrower lat pull-down. And then we actually supersetted this with the opposite facing um, reverse pull. Now, if you guys see my hand grip is different as opposed to the first time, this variation is definitely difficult just because you don't have the support on your quads. So it will try to pull you up. You cannot do too much weight on this specific exercise. Uh, it's very similar to a row. If you guys see, I just pull back, obviously with my uh, back. The way it is, it kind of sets it up a little bit differently than just pulling um, vertically. I like it. It's a great superset. Did a great pump. So two sets on, or I'm sorry, four sets on that of 12. Each exercise superset, and then we went over to here some pullbacks. Um, I would say it was decent. I thought I was actually staying more stationary throughout this movement before I watched the film, um, but I was pulling a little bit more weight than what I was typically used to. So on this, make sure you guys keep a, a low variation from the pull, I would say don't go too far forward and get a full um, stretch on the lats itself. Make sure to stay somewhat in that 90 degree bend. And that was it for back. We jumped right over into biceps, standing preacher curl. And then due to my shortness, that being at 5'7", I have to actually stand on the bar provided, as you guys can see, with them damn fresh new Nikes, as you guys know if you guys follow my Instagram. You guys have known about those for quite some time now. But once again, four sets of 12, and then this was very hard. I mean, at the last couple sets, I started off actually at 60 pounds and had to drop it to 50. It sucked, um, as you guys can see, a lot. But I really pushed through it, really trying to pull with my arms and not use my shoulders too much. And then we superseted that with some standing wide grip barbell curls, as you guys can see. Not too much weight. I believe it was like 30 or 40 pounds just to get some more blood flow through to the arms. Um, did this workout call for it? No, I just really wanted to include it. Um, I felt like it was a necessity. And then we kind of got some bad camera angles. Once again, not trying to get caught with my camera in the gym to, to provide footage for you guys once again. But um, this was a great starter off. Once again, kind of incorporating more heavy weights into this program. Uh, it's not too much accessory movements. So starting that off, and then I kind of went to somewhat of an accessory movement. I went over and did some hammer curls, as you guys can see, with some terrible lighting. Pay attention, this is what Shreds does on Instagram. This, boom, man, what did, did I just get some steroids injected or what, man? That tells you right there what simple lighting can do just for you guys. So once again, four sets of 12, only doing 30s, but the superset I was doing with this destroyed my forearms and from the previous workouts, man, my forearms were just drained, uh, which is great. Uh, looking at this footage now, I definitely feel like I am 
growing in the areas I want to. Uh, this bulk's going extremely well. This program's going extremely well. But right here, I believe I got 10, and then I couldn't feel it. I couldn't grip it anymore. And yeah, that's uh, how I tried getting by that issue. Uh, let's hit my forearms to see if maybe they'll listen and say, hey, all right, let's just get some more. But, and then this is what I superseted it with, the reverse grip uh, barbell pull. And then this next clip, you'll notice that I couldn't even pull it up anymore. My forearms wouldn't allow me to. My fingers wouldn't actually stay closed. So instead, I uh, focused more on the decline eccentric movement right there and really tried getting the last I could out of it. But that's the end of this commentation, and I hope you guys liked it. Stay tuned for the results in the next video, and I'll check in with you guys next time. Adios. Make sure to hit that subscribe button. Oh yeah! Oh yeah! Oh shit! <laughs>